What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer 229. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we started to make our way through all the various, well, challenges to get the final upgrade to, well, our Divine Beast abilities, Champion's abilities, whatever. We're doing Va Meadows challenges, and we've already accomplished two of what we needed to do. Unfortunately, getting to the last one is a bit of a pain because there's not exactly any sort of hints that the game gives you. The hints the game gives are fixed, and they don't give hints for all three. Which is really dumb. In this episode, we are hopefully going to be done with the final challenge here. And then do the memory of Vaughn Meadow. So, where exactly are we? Well, we're right here at Hebra Peak. Why are we at Hebra Peak? Because our challenge is right there. Yeah, nothing really saying that, oh yeah, you need to go to the top of Hebra Peak. Nope, nothing like that. I'm still mad that the hint they give is for the flight range. It's super obvious that it's the flight range. Why would they need to give a hint for that? Well, at any rate... Since we're so high up, it seems as though, actually, let's see, so, race down a peak rings adorn. So yeah, because we're super high up and the fact that we've had to do similar challenges up by these peaks before, it's very likely that I'm going to need to do shield surfing. Let me see if I remember how to, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely shield surfing. That is that is way too quick to be able to do otherwise. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Yeah, gotta remember, I do not go as fast if I am gliding. All of a sudden, rocks! Just random snowballs! Crap. Okay, good, good. It still, it gives me an opportunity to get back on my shield. That's very nice, that's very nice, that's very kind of the game to at least give me enough time to be able to accomplish that. Okay. Glad I called it right. Yeah, there's no way I could do this otherwise. It has to be with shield surfing. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing fine. There's Lavzolfos that are just here, but not gonna worry about it, and we are done! bad. Really, the hardest part was just figuring out where to start. Because, oh wow, we went quite the distance. Because honestly, figuring out that it's the top of Hebra Peak, really not obvious. Without any discernible landmarks, it is really difficult to determine where I'm supposed to go from an aerial viewpoint. Especially when everything is snow. Well, that's neither here nor there. What is our challenge here? Master the orb. Okay. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Where does this take me up to? Buttons, buttons, multiple buttons. There's a chest up there. Um... 
Okay, well, I can at the very least get the chest. That's not going to be difficult. Actually, can I do half and half on this? Um, I can, but it doesn't mean I'm going to be able to succeed. Alright, so then I do this. I uh, get rid of that. Come on. There we go. Alright, so what is... The chest isn't up here. Chest is up here! So what's in the chest? Chest has... A falcon bow. Alright. I'm not entirely sure the falcon bow is really... Yeah, I mean, there's the lionel. To be honest, I have a golden bow. Falcon bow is better. All right. So with that, oh geez, there's stuff over there. Or is that just where I entered from? No, I think that is where the monk is. Yeah, cause that's where I entered from. Okay. So what exactly is the purpose? That goes over that way, and then it falls off the edge. Okay. So I can move that over there. That stops it in its track. Okay. Uh, not quite. Not quite far enough to stop it in its tracks. Okay, so I gotta do that, and then that will go that way. Uh, I need this to go there and doesn't quite make it okay well I can still do this then what does this do it goes in the opposite direction which is where I need it to go otherwise it just falls off cool 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 all right, so ball goes over that way. Ah, uh, ooh. All right. Hit that so that way it doesn't go. Oh. Man, they are really having me go for this one. Okay. So I need that, and then I need another Cryonis right about there. Enough for it to basically fall down there, where it then hits this, which I then launch to get to the other side. Okay. Oh wait, what does the button do? Oh, the button launches it. Okay. So if I can get it in there, that's great. That's where I need it to go. Hmm? Woohoo! We just made it! Alright. Good thing a lot of this stuff already comes with the prep work done. Okay. So we do that. We freeze time on that. That goes across those. Perfect. Perfect! Alright, and then launch. Perfect! Alright, I love it when a plan comes together. Seriously, the hardest part of this was just figuring out where to start. Shield surfing, you know, since I'm actually at least know what I'm doing now, even though I've barely done it. Not all that difficult. Puzzle, not all that difficult. This one really wasn't all that bad. With Meadow's final emblem in hand, we can head on over to the Divine Beast and do our final memory. Um, before we do that, though, 
we have not read Rivoli's journal. So let's head on back to the Rito village and sneak a peek. Honestly, Rivoli has the most contempt out of any character in this game. So I'm kind of wondering just... How bad is this journal gonna be? Alright, so we already know where the journal is. That much is certain, so that way we don't have to go on a massive scavenger hunt. Alright, so the journal is right here. Diary of Rivoli, the Rito legend. Wow, alright, <laughs> very modest of him. I won another archery competition today. As one would expect, the village can't stop talking about my winning streak. In short order, I've managed to break all of the previous records and set an insurmountably high bar. Everywhere I go, I receive praise and affirmations that I am the pride of the Rito. I... could get used to this. The other asked me what I would like as a prize for my achievements. I told him I wished for an archery training ground. If I'm to keep this up, I need somewhere to train at varying elevations. I'm hoping to master a new move I've dreamed up. I keep pushing my archery skills to the limit. My dive is ideal, but the ensuing ascent is not as smooth as I wish it was. I must return to the flight range again tomorrow. There, I will become stronger. Better. I won't rest until I succeed. The Rito children look up to me. I hear they wish to start training at the flight range suit, too. Perhaps it's not a bad idea to allow everyone to use my training space. These are dangerous times, after all. Tomorrow I'll try a new strategy I've been devising to control the updraft. I refuse to believe it's impossible. There's a persistent rumor in town that Calamity Ganon's resurrection is imminent. It can't be true. Right? A few years ago, scientists dug up an ancient mechanical beast called Meadow. It was supposedly used to fight Ganon. Hyrule's royal family is in search of someone to pilot the beast. They say to do so requires something beyond skill. They say one's soul must contain an incredible sacred power for a divine beast to recognize them as master. They should have just asked for me by name. To control the divine beast and defeat the calamity would finally allow me to prove myself to the world. Hyrule's princess stopped dawdling and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I asked what our plan is. I wish I hadn't. It is completely absurd. The Divine Beasts are little more than a backup for some Hylian knight who has the honor of fighting Calamity Ganon. Me? A sidekick! I thought of declining. But then she looked me dead in the eye and held my gaze as she said, we must protect the precious life of this land from the Calamity's grasp at all costs. Hyrule needs you, Rivali. It was so corny, I almost died. But I won't soon forget the look of her in her eyes. She meant it with all her heart. I thought Hylians only thought of themselves, but I suppose there's an exception to every rule. I'm going to accept, of course. Now, of self-respect, I'm going to let her sweat it out a bit longer. Hyrule's princess is coming by to ask my answer tomorrow. She will surely be overcome with joy when I accept. And her timing is exceptional. I'm close. So close to mastering my new move and showing everyone what I'm capable of. When they see it, they'll know without doubt it should be me fighting Ganon instead of that pathetic knight. I can see it now. The king and princess, and the knight, all on their knees, begging me to defeat Ganon for them. They'll say, please, Master of Ali, please use your otherworldly skills and intellect to defeat Calamity Ganon. <laughs> I look forward to that day. I journeyed to Hyrule Castle for an inauguration ceremony. I now bear the grand title of champion. Meaningless pomp, if you ask me. If true strength relied only on title and uniform, everyone would be a champion. I do like the blue scarf, though. The annoyingly silent knight was as emotionless as usual. I can never tell what's on his mind. Likely nothing at all. 
Somehow I can't help but believe the stories about him beating adult knights in sword play when he was only a child. Still, he doesn't stand a chance against me. There's no one alive who can keep up with my aerial combat. That reminds me. It's about time I came up with a fitting name for that new move I created. What kind of name would be worthy? Rivali's... something. Tornado? Whirlwind? Masterpiece? Huh. The princess came to the village on official business, along with her shadow, that insufferable knight. I tried to talk to him while the princess met with the elder, but he was his usual quiet self. Why do people like him so? I also gave him the privilege of seeing me perform Rivali's Gale. Nothing. No reaction at all to my impressive feat. I showed it to him even knowing there was a chance of failure, since, well, it's still so new. <laughs> he must truly be slow-witted. I tried to provoke him into facing me, but to no avail. It's like talking to a stone. Our interactions were a waste of time, so I flew off to find solace with Meadow. What is wrong with that guy? Daruk informed me that we have been asked to escort the princess to Lanayru. We're to see the princess off at dawn at the mountain's base and meet her there when she returns at sunset. Must I participate in this nonsense? Though, I still remember that look on the princess's face. When she asked me to pilot the divine beast, she was not only determined, she seemed desperate. She's aware she can't fulfill her sacred duties, and anyone can see how it weighs on her. It's difficult for me to comprehend the troubles of the talentless, but... Uh, I'm trying. It's not that I dislike the princess. She tries her hardest. It's simply not good enough. No, I don't think I can spare the time to send her off in the morning. But perhaps I'll fly over to greet her at sunset. Perhaps that alleged ceiling power will show her some mercy and finally awaken this time. Well, that was about as much as I expected. My expectation was that Rivali is just a giant dick. And you know what? I wasn't wrong. <laughs> now, Valmetto shouldn't really be that bad of a fight. This is the last one, and Valmetto I usually find to be one of the easier Divine Beasts. Then again, I said the same thing about Valruta and ended up dying to it, so we'll see how well this goes.
All right, the final fight. Windblight Ganon. And yeah, I remember going through my uh, compendium and there was one Ganon that I was missing. I was pretty sure it was Windblight Ganon. Okay, so what exactly do I have? Okay, so I... Hmm. Okay, so I actually have somewhat decent armor, no shields, a lot of arrows as to be expected, and a feathered edge? That is not really a good thing. But I've got the falcon bow. Wow, I don't even have... I don't even have Rivoli's bow, what the heck? So I have that, I have the duplex bow, and I have the f Fenric bow. As well as a ton of normal arrows and five bomb arrows. Um, uh, two and a half hearts of healing. And that's basically it. Okay. Well, Falcon Bow's going to... Well, no, the Duplex Bow is going to be my big damage dealer. Oh, boy. Oh no, that's way too far away. That's way too far away! Oh god! Okay. Thankfully, it does give me a ton of arrows because Rivali is the archer. Come on. Oh, come on! It didn't come down! Oh, it's coming down now. It's coming down now! Ugh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! Jerk! Thankfully, I'm doing pretty well. Ugh, he keeps moving. Unfortunately, two hits. Well, two hits actually just brings him down here. Ah! Get up, Link! Ah! Very bad place to be. Oh, still good. We're still good. We're still good. Ah! Hopefully that doesn't really deal all that much damage. This. Okay, and then that brings him down. Jump! The jerk! Link! I was hoping so that I could get up here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Can I hit those out of the sky? Perfect, I actually can. Get him with the slow-mo! Wait, what? I'm out of... Oh, I only had one Urbosa's Fury! I thought I had a whole batch! Oh, what? Jerk! Uh oh Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Okay. 
Still doing good. Still doing fine. Why well, I have all the stamina in the world. Also, all the arrows in the world. Okay, duplex bow. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Get back to regular arrows. All right. I can, oh. Just where, where? Perfect. Oh. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, one more. One more go. I need to get up. I need to get up. Where are the other ones? Not good, not good. Okay. Are we good? Where'd he go? I think I can do that. Perfect! Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost on the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Uh, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Rivali has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That's why I felt inclined to roost here, near the Vine Beast Vaughn Meadow, which Rivali himself mastered. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Rivali. enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. Uh, 
My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! I play the biggest part in helping that... <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. It seems the Rito Champion was not one to share his feelings. So, what do you think of Champion Rivali's song? By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champion Rivali, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The missing verses of an ancient song. I think the perfect saying would be Hyrule Castle in the distant past. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Rivali's Gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. And we get the final champion ability upgrade. Rivali's Gale Plus. And just like all the other ones, it just takes less time to charge. Final trial awaits, back at the Shrine of Resurrection. Mm. Alright, so, we already know what Kaz is going to say. Alright, well, we are nearly done, it seems. All we need to do is head on over to the Shrine of Resurrection. Well... Much as I would love to just wait until I get Urbosa's Fury back, uh, I think we're just going to have to rough it. To the Shrine of Resurrection! Alright, so where exactly in the Shrine do we need to go? Oh! I'm a little surprised the one hit obliterator is back on its pedestal. 
it's fulfilled its duty. Well, I guess that would be uh, the way to actually take a picture of it if you failed to do it the first time. So, there's that, I guess. Really? Are you saying there's been a Korok that's been with Link for a hundred years? That's not creepy at all. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and return the Sheikah Slate. See where this final passage is. This is certainly bizarre. And the Korok is gone! Alright. Um. So what all is happening? Alright. So I guess we have another shrine to do? This is a dungeon? Okay, there is another dungeon. Okay, I can save. Wow, okay. So not only were there just a bunch of shrines, there's also just a straight up dungeon like the Divine Beasts. Complex labyrinth, it said, too. Okay, well, I was... I was originally thinking that, hey, once we get back... Once we defeat, like, the last thing with the Divine Beasts, we'll probably have one quick little thing, maybe one final quick challenge, and then we'll be good to go. Nope. This is gonna be a lot longer than I thought. Well, <laughs> I think in the interest of time and pacing, we should probably just call it a day here. Again, it's a little bit shorter than a lot of the other Zelda episodes, but I really do think in the interest of pacing, we should just begin this next time. And unfortunately, it won't let us take the one hit obliterator. That's a darn shame. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We take on the final trial. And we have one final trial left to do before we finish the Champion's Ballad. Going to be a long, complex labyrinth hidden deep underneath the Shrine of Resurrection. Looks like the map pedestal is just over there, though. So we'll see exactly how complicated this really is at the beginning of next time. Thankfully, though, I'm pretty sure we can leave whenever we want, right? Oh yeah, we totally can. Unlike the Divine Beast, we can just straight up teleport whenever we want. 
So that's at least good in case we need to just get the hell out of here and resupply. But at the very least, we'll at least know how long this is going to be if it's going to be more than a single episode to get through. Uh, well, only one way to find out. We'll find out next time. So until then, everyone, take care.